Good morning, I'm Ashley Jacobs. New this morning, the driver of a stolen car runs a red light, hits one car. She took them through three counties, first Los Angeles, then Orange, and finally San Diego. Many tight local races, so you will see some of the candidates' names again. They got all of the survivors out of the bus before it ate this morning. Her neighbors tell CBS News 8 they went out searching for the couple on their own. Right now, crews are working to put that fire out. So these 24 hours are crucial to penguin preservation. Good morning, Dan and Michelle. Okay, all right. Whoa, things just got crazy. The SeaWorld's most recognizable whale, Tillicum, died today. He arrived to SeaWorld in Orlando 25 years ago, fathering 14 whales over the years. Now, his death comes the same weekend as SeaWorld San Diego's last theatrical show. We're going to introduce you to the expert, Jeff. You are the beekeeper here at the Marriott Marquis. We got Patrick right here. Speed is always impressive, but even more impressive than that, how close these jets can fly to each other. He uses Legos of all things. Ready in the front. Ready. Ready in the rear. Ready. All right, go on my horn. <laughs> the water tastes good this morning. I just got a good splash. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, and I don't think I look as good as Brittany did when she held a snake. <laughs> and there's a team of people working very hard to make sure the conditions are just right for penguins to make their nest. Even though it's going into fall here in San Diego, in Antarctica, it's going into spring, which means it's time to open up the rookeries and let the birds start to breed. It's all hands on deck inside the penguin exhibit at SeaWorld San Diego as the small breeds get ready to mate. The macaronis, gentoos, and Adelie penguins. This exhibit has been here for more than three decades, allowing researchers to have consistent opportunities to study and improve penguin preservation. It took years for the keepers to make breeding season just right for these birds, who are pickier than you'd imagine. We used a variety of different types that didn't work. They were too big or too small. This is the right size for these guys, and it took several years for us to figure out the, the right type. There are more than four tons of rocks inside this exhibit, but each penguin is searching for a unique rock to make the perfect nest. And it's part of a, a ritual. It's a pair bonding and a courtship behavior that both the males and the females search for rocks, and they bring them back to not just the nest, but to their mate. Just hours into rock day, as they call it, the penguins begin building their nests. The macaronis will be the first to breed. Some females already giving the signal they're ready. Keepers will see eggs before the end of this month. That means chicks by the end of October. And they say this is one of the best times to visit the exhibit. There's just so much activity and a lot of drama going on as well as they're finding their pairs. It's a lot of fun. I guarantee you that you will walk away with a smile on your face. The Breitling jet team has been flying together for 15 years. During that time, they've impressed spectators in 30 countries. Ahead of their performance at the Miramar Air Show. How are you feeling, Ashley? So excited. They invited me to buckle up for a ride. San Diego has never looked so beautiful. Our dance in the sky was unlike anything I've ever experienced. This is amazing. The precision is incredible. At times, each jet was just 10 feet away from its neighboring jet. And we know exactly what we are going to do in the next few seconds. The Albatross L39 travels 465 miles per hour and dives at a speed higher than 500 miles per hour. And it's where my pilot, who goes by Dookie, feels most at home. I love to fly. It's, uh, you know, I fly uh, for more than 30 years now in a jet. That love a Breitling pilot has for his craft comes through in each performance. The world's most elite civilian jet team is made up of pilots with a French Air Force background, and they're equivalent to the Navy's Blue Angels. <laughs> Dookie, you sing a little bit before each maneuver. You were yeah, singing yeah. to me. Maybe it's a way to focus, <laughs> I don't know, but I like to sing in the air. Can I hear it again? It's a It was a love song, I cannot oh, sing it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was awesome. <laughs>
Okay, now we are ready to land. Uh, it was a short one, but a good one. <laughs> This is only the second time the Breitling Jet Team has flown in America and you can catch their shows this weekend during the air show.